Hello there folks, I'm Scott Lynch and welcome to my channel. Today's video topic is going to be fairly short. I'm going to describe how I like to go on Audible. This is a book on Audible. And I'm also going to describe one book, give a little preview review of what I think about that book. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Like I mentioned before, one thing I like to do as a small hobby of mine, besides making these videos, I like to listen to a lot of books on Audible. The reason I like Audible so much is because whenever I try to read a book, my mind tends to wander just a little bit and I lose track of what I'm doing. However, with Audible, the moment my mind tends to wander, the voices on Audible bring me right back into the book. Therefore, I never really lose that much when I'm listening to a book. One book that I like to go well with quite a bit is this book by Napoleon Hill. It is called Think and Grow Rich. Now, this book is fairly neat. It is also fairly old. This book was originally published, I believe it was back in 1937. And Napoleon Hill, before he wrote this book, he interviewed over 500 people. Some of these people are quite big names. He interviewed Thomas Edison, Henry Ford. He also interviewed one of the Rockefellers and Wrigley a few other big names. Everybody on the Fast Presents have read this book as well. This book has mentioned several stories in there. One story I find in particular that I like quite a bit. I believe it's his second story they tell us in the book. But he mentions how his son, he had a son that was born with no ears. And he, therefore, he could not hear that well at all. He could hear little noises if he was sitting next to a stereo. He would notice a little bit of a reaction. Anyways, Napoleon Hill never wanted his son to have special treatment. He always praised him normal, made sure he was in normal classes, and all this stuff. All that like, different. His teachers would have to yell at him in order for his son to be able to hear them. And all long story short, he grew up with this. It wasn't until college, until he got a hearing aid that he could actually hear. And when the first thing he did, whenever he could hear, he called his mom on the phone. His mom was in tears over that. But anyways, it's just going to show you his perseverance. He never let his ability or his disability stand in his way, which I believe is something a lot of us can come to realize we need to get over it. That's one of the reasons I actually started doing these videos. I was always nervous about getting in front of a camera and speaking with whoever would whoever decides to watch. And I've actually found out I get watches from all over the world, views all over the world. It tell me a lot of people might find a little bit of this useful. Like I said, I like Audible, and the book that I want to go with right now is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. If you have any other videos or books I should say in mind for me to research, go ahead and send me those books in the comments there and I'll be sure to read each book. Although I get a lot of comments, it might take me a while, but I like doing it. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up, would be awesome. And also subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Thank you for watching. One more thing I'd like to mention 
Next week is Bob playing on doing my video. I'm going to go over different parts of my chair. Different the exact mouth I have for a chair. Different chairs that I've had in the past. Features that I look for personally. Some features I've had out there. And I've taken off of trying them all that I can think of. I'm hoping by doing that I've all get a better understanding of what kind of chair they need to look for in the future. Other than that, if you like all this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if possible, or leave me a comment one, let me know what's up, and I'll be happy to respond. Thank you for watching.